Welcome back to the Knot of the Week series. This week we look at the four in hand tie knot. Start with the wide end of your tie to your left and the narrow end to your right. Slide until the narrow end is somewhere near your belly button. Keep the wide end over the narrow end and then one fold pass over it. Now take that same wide end up between the loop and your neck and then down inside the knot that you created. You can then pull up on the knot and down on the narrow end to tighten. The end of the tie should fall between the top and bottom edges of your belt buckle if tied properly. If it doesn't, start over and start with the narrow end lower to make the tie shorter or higher to make it longer. The four in hand is a very simple tie knot that can be used for most occasions. While not as symmetrical as other knots, it is a great first tie knot to learn due to its simplicity. If you're using a thinner material, you can take an extra pass or two to thicken the knot. Just be sure to only take the wide end through the outermost pass when doing this. This is one of the three prescribed knots when tying a tie for naval or army uniforms. The other two being the half Windsor and Windsor knots. The name of this knot is said to be derived from the four-in-hand club who made the knot fashionable. They are a club that runs four horses to pull their carts. Thank you for watching this episode of Knot of the Week. Check back next week when we look at the diagonal lashing. If you have recommendations for future knots, please let us know in the comments below.